The risk on an asset can be broken down into two components, the systematic risk and the unsystematic risk. So we'll go over what these two are and then we'll show how the unsystematic risk can actually be eliminated through diversification. So basically we split up the variance of an asset into the following. We have the beta squared multiplied by the market variance and then we have this variance over here. And this is what we refer to as our unsystematic risk whereas this is our systematic risk. So systematic because this is the risk that comes from the market and it applies to all assets, whereas this is completely unique to a specific asset. So for instance, if we're talking about the shares of a company, then the share price can be affected by news announcements regarding the company, such as earnings announcements, dividend announcements, changes in management, maybe there's a new CEO, all sorts of things. And so we are going to see variance in the share price as a result of just things happening with the company. But then on top of that, you expect it to move with the market to a certain degree. Now, if we have a look at the following. This is 